it's Sabrina. So today we are going to do our first episode of minimalism. So today we are going to talk about mine and Safari's entire wardrobe that fits in a little plastic small drawers from Walmart. So I just wanted to do this intro and then I'll go ahead and reposition the camera so I could show you all the clothes. And then I'll also put down below um, an itemized list of all of the clothes so you guys can see that and follow along. So here we go. So let's get started with everything that we own. So this is the three drawer plastic um, container that all of our clothes fit in except for our jackets. So every single thing fits in here. So we each have one drawer in here and then the bottom drawer is for like our cold weather type stuff. So let's start with Safari's drawer here. So she has a total of nine underwear and then here is like a Long John's outfit that she just wears like as an actual outfit like whenever she wants to. And we have one like almost all of our clothes are dry fit because they're easier for us to hand wash so that's like the key to us having such little clothes is that we hand wash them the night that we wear them so if they get dirty and we don't wash our clothes every night but if they're dirty or sweaty or whatever we'll wash them in the shower with us and then we'll hang them in the bathroom to dry so almost all of our clothes are dry fit so here's a dry fit um, t-shirt here's a tank top here are some joggers and you'll notice that obviously she has a lot more clothes than I do but a lot of our clothes are like similar like I have joggers as well and then a long sleeve also dry fit and it's a really thin material one bathing suit leggings and another pair of leggings a pair of pink dry fit shorts this is the only cotton t-shirt that she has right now and then a dress mainly she just wears this for church some hiking pants and then she has a total of three pairs of socks so these are long socks for when it's colder and then here's a regular pair of socks and then another pair of socks and these are um, darn tough socks so that's why we have such little like amount of socks because you can wear these for like a week straight and they still won't smell because they're made of 100% wool so that's what I love about these and they have a lifetime warranty so if they ever get a hole in them or anything like that then you can send them back to darn tough and they'll just give you a credit on your account so I love that about darn tough and that's what allows us to carry such a little bit of socks so with her we also have one pair of shoes and one pair of flip-flops and then one jacket and in the bottom drawer here with our warm clothes she has one sweatshirt and then we both have these rain pants but we hard or we don't ever wear them so i think i might be getting rid of those soon so that is all of safari stuff so if we look down if you could look down in the comments and i put it down there so with safari she has seven bottoms which actually is a lot she's wearing of course an outfit right now so she has seven bottoms six shirts nine underwear one sweatshirt one jacket one dress one bathing suit, three socks, and two shoes. So I think that she could probably limit the amount of bottoms, but right now that's working for us. And a lot of them, like I spent like good money on because they're quality like clothes, so I don't really want to get rid of those right now. So we always evaluate and see what we need more or less of, but that's what hers is right now. So let's get into mine. 
Okay, so let's talk about my clothes. So the second drawer is mine here. So on top I have some clothes that are still a little bit damp. So in total I have five pairs of underwear. I have two sports bras, one I'm wearing and one's right here. Um, these are my only pair of shorts. And this shirt here is the exact same as the one that I'm wearing. It's just gray. <laughs> and so then in the drawer here I have a short sleeve dry fit shirt, one one piece bathing suit, and I'm really picky about bathing suits. I haven't found one that I absolutely love, but this one is working for now. <laughs> um, those are the rest of my underwear. And then here are some joggers. Um, I have two of these Columbia dry fit uh, hiking button up shirts and they're perfect for like anything so i wear them if i'm like riding the bike somewhere and i don't want to get sunburned i wear them to church i wear them anywhere so they can be dressed up or they can be worn on a hike they're perfect so i have this gray one and then i have this black one so it's all about multi-purpose like that's how we can get our clothes down to like such little because we use them for every different aspect of our life whether we need to dress up for church or whether we're just like chilling at the house like they're used for all types of purposes and the fact that we're comfortable in everything that we own so speaking of being comfortable this is the one thing i'm still trying to get used to this is my first dress not first dress but like in a long time and it has a hood and it's really multi-purpose so I can wear it if I'm going to like a dinner or to church or I can wear it on a hike it's actually ex officio so it's made for like hiking or outdoorsy type stuff so I really love this dress and then this is another button-up I have I actually got this from my ex-boyfriend's um, parents who my ex-boyfriend got killed, so he made, got this made for his 16th birthday, so that's basically my one sentimental item in my entire life. <laughs> and then my jacket, which is just like Safari's, and the same shoes as Safari, one pair of shoes. And then, I don't know where my other pair of socks are right now, but I have two pairs of socks that are almost the same. These are more cushion, and the other ones are less cushion. And then, of course, these sandals that I'm wearing right now, and these leggings, this shirt, and this sports bra. And that's it. So for me, I have only three bottoms, um, six shirts, five underwear, two sports bras, one sweatshirt, one jacket, one dress, one bathing suit, two socks, and two shoes. So that is it for our wardrobe so i just wanted to say that we have such little clothes because it works for us not because of financial reasons or anything like that just because we travel so often we're so active we're so simple in our lifestyle that when we dirty clothes we just wash them while we're washing ourselves in the shower and then we hang them up to dry and typically they're dry the next day if we want to wear them again so you don't really need that much clothes. And I know a lot of people are like, no, I could never do that. But just think of the time that it saves you. So many people dread doing laundry and they're just like, oh my God, like I'm just gonna rewear this so I don't have to do laundry. And it becomes this like huge burden. But for us, there's no such thing as laundry day because we do laundry in like 30 seconds in the shower with us. So it's not like a chore. So I love that about it. We don't have to spend, because we live in an apartment, so we don't have to spend money on going to the laundromat at the apartment. We don't have to spend money on detergent. We don't have to spend time on doing the laundry. Like, it's just so beneficial for us. And because Safari has lived a really minimalistic lifestyle her whole life, it's, it's not anything that she's like, oh, mom, I want to get a new outfit or anything. Like, she's very content with what she gets, so. 
I love this lifestyle and I encourage you to try this just maybe put clothes away in a bag or something so that you know like they're there if you need them but just try to live with a small amount of clothes and of course it depends on where you live and things like that you might need a bigger winter coat if you live in a very cold area but we don't so this one puff jacket works great for us so there you go that's our entire wardrobe and you can look down in the con in the description below if you want to see like the breakdown of everything i just described so as you can see we do not need much clothes to be happy and we have lived like this for a long time and it's worked well because every single piece of clothing that we have we enjoy wearing so we don't have to look in the back of the closet like oh everything's dirty i only have these clothes that i don't even like to wear we don't have those so just think about maybe implementing this into your life maybe for one week or one month and see how that goes for you i know other people like to do things like capsule wardrobes and things like that so let me know like if you have implemented some type of minimalist wardrobe into your lifestyle i would love to know in the comments so please like comment and definitely subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot more minimalism content coming your way i'll see you guys soon bye